Hey guys, this is me again, Jen, and welcome aboard to my channel. And yes, I'm back for another video. And for today's vlog, is a namin kayo as we prepare for our Japan trip. So if you are interested, then just keep on watching. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe, tap the notification bell so that you'll be notified on my next video, just like this one. So if you are ready, let's begin. Na miss niyo ba yung intro na yun guys? Kasi ako na miss ko din. So that's why binalik ko. Ang dami sa inyo nag-comment, sabi, bakit wala na yung intro? Na miss namin yung just like this one. So that's why ginawa ko siya ulit. Anyway, we are currently here at AAP building kasi we will process our international driver's license kasi part of our itinerary sa Japan is mag-go kart kami guys sa Tokyo, sa Shibuya. It's one of the things that I really wanted to do sa Japan at si Bards din. Yun din yung isa sa mga bagay na gusto niyang gawin doon. When we tried to book for the itinerary, kailangan pala siya ng international driver's license. So that's why we are processing it right now here at Automobile Association of the Philippines. Kaya nandito kami ngayon sa kanilang main office sa Quezon City. Hindi ako nakapag-vlog after we took our international driving permit kasi sobrang daming nangyari. We went to the mall kasi medyo nag-shopping para sa Japan trip. So, ngayon ako nakapag-vlog ulit. And alam niyo ba? Alam niyo ba? Binigyan ako ng gift ni Bart! <laughs> Hindi ko alam ko ano yung kasyon. Pakita mo, pakita mo yung gift. Binigyan niya ako ng gift! <laughs> Thank you so much, Bart! Thank you din sa gift ng Bart. <laughs> ako din may gift to. Oh. <laughs> Binigyan ko din siya ng gift. Exchange gift yun. Look at this one. Let's unbox this, guys. Tada! <laughs> oh, de ba? <laughs> so ako bumili ng ano niya? Shame yung bumili nito. Ang sweet ng birds ko. Nagin <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Tuna mo sa gift mo. Thank you sa gift. Thank you, my love sa gift. <laughs> Loko ka. <laughs> Time to unbox this. It's an AirPods Max. Ang ganda. It's so pretty, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. Wait lang, ang para pala akong tanga, hindi pa lang naririnig yung music. <laughs> si Bard naman mag-unbox. We are ready for Japan, yung nasa ano kami. Bullet train, nagkaganon-ganon. Ah! And guys, just an update. We finally got our international driving permit. Look at that. Pakita pa ka, si Pakita pa sa car, clearly. Ah! <laughs> so, pwede na kami mag-go-kart sa Tokyo. Now, for the process on how to get your international driving permit, I'm going to walk you through. For the requirements, first, you need a 2x2 photo. Actually, hindi to 2x2. It's a passport photo. Pero pwede pa rin to, guys. Passport photo, 2x2 photo, pwede. And you also need to bring your driver's license. And then, right after that, pumunta lang kayo sa AAP or Automobile Association of the Philippines. Meron silang branches sa Cebu, sa Pampanga. Actually, madami silang branches for their main branch na sa Quezon City. So, doon kami pumunta. By the time we went there, nasa second floor sila. We just filled out the form and all of the necessary details, ilagay mo lang siya doon. Pwede nyo din siyang gawin online. May QR code na iniscan si Bards doon and then ginawa lang din niya online. Or pwede kayo doon sa booth, parang kiosk, kung saan pwede nyo ilagay lahat ng mga information na kailangan nyo ilagay. And then right after that, you just need to wait for your name to be called out. And then once natatawagin kayo, ibibigay nyo lang yung 2x2 or yung passport photo ninyo, your driver's license and the payment. And for the payment, nagbayad kami ng 4,144 pesos. Yun yung babayaran nyo in total. After 1 hour and 30 minutes, nakuha na namin yung international driving permit namin. And ito yung itsura niya. And kapag tatanggalin siya, ito yung magiging itsura niya. Para siyang passport actually. 
Sobrang bilis lang. One hour and 30 minutes lang, we already got our permit. This is good for one year. 8,000 plus kapag two years yung kukuni ninyo. Ito din pala guys, if ever yung driver's license ninyo, yung validity niya is less than a year, tulad kay BARDS, yung driver's license niya mag-expire this April. So, yung validity ng international driving permit niya is up until April lang din. So, hindi siya makikarry over once you renew your license. Gamit na niya yung AirPods Max niya. Eee! Ako din, ako din. Whoa, but we have a new AirPods Max. We have a new AirPods Max. Makinig kayo sa sasabihin ko. Also, yesterday, nag-shopping kami. Look at that. So later, papakita ko sa inyo, mag-haul ako kung ano yung nabili ko. Ipa-plan ko na din yung mga OOTDs ko for our Japan trip. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. A tea time. Everybody agrees. Ah! Uy! <laughs> Yahoo! So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan my OOTDs for our Japan trip. By the way, umuwi na si Bard sa Pampanga. I have all the time in the world to actually plan everything. Here are the items that I bought kahapon. Let me show you guys kung ano yung plan niya. So first off, let's start with the Zara items. I got this pleated skirt. Pink na pleated skirt. It's baby pink. I also have this hot pink na pleated skirt. So, dalawa sila. This one is baby pink. This one is the hot pink. This is from Zara. This one is from Lady N Official. They're so cute. Perfect for the spring season in Japan. Sakura. I super duper love this. This is from Mango. This sweater. This is so cute. Super cute. I love it. Another sweater. Plain white lang to. The sweater from Zara. Ay, ito from Mango. Bumili ako ng scarf. Pang ganyan or sa hair and all. And I also got this. This skirt is so good. It's not a skirt actually, guys. It's a skirt. Because it looks like a pleated skirt, di ba? Look at that. Pero, inside, it's a short. Ta-da! Amazing, right? Ito yung likod niya. I also bought this boots from Zara. This is from Zara na boots. And yun lang. Last week, I also bought these coats. So the first one is we have a blazer pala. Blazer from Zara. This is so cute. So pretty. And another blazer. So I chose talaga mga colorful outfits since it's spring season in Japan. And wait lang. Ito pala. I also bought this. This is from Mango. I love it so much. I have another trip pala sa June, guys. Hopefully. And I'm excited to wear this as well for my trip sa June. And then, tingnan nyo! I love this coat. Sobrang haba niya. I love this so much. I think this is gonna be the first outfit. Naka brown boots din ako. This is Yung skirt is matagal na to sa akin. I really love it. This is a leather skirt, by the way. Wait lang, pakita ko sa inyo sa salamin. So, ganito yung itsura niya. Cutie! I am having a hard time deciding kung alin dito mas bagay. This one, or I'll use this. Which one do you think is the best? But I think itong top na to, compared to the first one I showed you guys. I think this one is better, right? By the way, nag-iba yung audio ko kasi yung road na mic ko na ubusan siya ng battery. So, I need to buy another one. I'm really having a hard time kung anong boots yung susutin ko with this outfit. Yun dito nakagulo yung bed ko guys. And as what you notice, gabi na. <laughs> Naabutan ako ng gabi, nag-dress rehearsal. But basically, I've completed all of the 10 outfits. Pero sinobrahan ko ng dalawa. So lahat ng yan, in total, is 12 outfits yan. Or good for 12 days na outfits. Ito din lahat ng boots na gagamitin ko for the trip. 
Today is another day and you guess it right, hindi ko pa na impake yung mga gamit ko or na fold. It's because napagod na talaga ako. So ngayon, I am actually trying to fold na everything. Ang kalat. So I will be packing things according to destination. Para yung Osaka trip ko, yung i open ko lang is Osaka trip. And for Kyoto, Kyoto lang na outfits. And for Tokyo, Tokyo lang na outfits ang i-open. And I will be using this. Ito sa vacuum bag. Para makatipid tayo sa space ng bagahe. Ay, this is the outfit board na ginawa ko last night. Ang tagal kong natapos dito. After natin malagay yung mga damit is we will seal it using the sealer. Wala siyang pump pump na kasama. So what I'm going to do is I will sit on it para matanggal natin lahat ng hangin sa loob. <laughs> Can you hear the sound of the air? Yes, magugusot yung mga damit, pero may dala naman kaming steamer. Ito na ngayon yung etchure niya. Galing ako nail salon, and then tomorrow magpapa eyelash extension ako. And then on Saturday is magpapa treat ako ng hair. O ba? grabe yung paghahanda ko sa Japan trip na to. At hindi lang ako, si Bards din. Grabe yung paghahanda talaga namin with this Japan trip. Especially ako guys, sobra grabe talaga yung paghahanda ko Because I'm so excited for this trip. One reason, it's because sobrang tagal na since I went to Japan. Second, it's my favorite layover when I was still a flight attendant. Before, I get to stay in Japan for only 24 hours. But now, I'll get to stay in Japan for 10 days. Plus, I'll explore pa ako ng Osaka because the very first time I went to Osaka, it was unexpected layover. So, hindi talaga ako masyado nakapag-explore dun sa labas lang talaga ng hotel. And then finally, makakapunta ako ng Kyoto. And for Tokyo, OMG, I'm so happy kasi hindi lang isang araw. Five days kami sa Tokyo. I'm so excited to share our Japan travel vlog, guys. I hope you're excited too. And of course, as always, we will share our itinerary. I was the one who fixed our itinerary guys, sobrang sakit sa ulo. And hopefully lang is maabutan namin na nag-full bloom yung Tokyo. But according to the predictions, maaabutan namin yung full bloom na Sakura sa Tokyo. I'm so excited. Again, with our travel vlog, isashare namin yung travel itinerary namin. Our expenses, most importantly. So, that's it for today's vlog, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye!